Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of February 15, 2021. I got three topics this week. The first one is kind of a sad one. The Learjet production is going to end at the end of this year. So we'll talk about Learjet a little bit more, a little bit of a history. Uh, we're going to talk about how airplanes can possibly make it snow. Yeah, that's right. Airplanes can actually create snow. So we'll talk about how that works. And then the last thing, I want to talk about the uh, the hiring of pilots and how this is going with the airlines. There's actually some good news coming up. So let's get to it. First thing this week is kind of a sad news. The Learjet production is coming to an end. And this is a very iconic jet. If you guys have been in aviation, I'm sure you've heard of the Learjet, even if you've never flown before or have never flown in one. Uh, private jet, high-end luxury. Uh, the Learjet is, is very famous, starting actually in 1962. And uh, Bombardier, which is a Canadian company that acquired Learjet in the 1990s, actually I think it was 1990, uh, announced that they will stop manufacturing the jet at the end of this year, so last quarter of 2021. And uh, the Lear 75 will be the last one to leave the uh, manufacturing plant, which is in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, the Learjet came in a lot of different models since 1962. The Lear 28, 35, you basically have 35 all the way to 85, every five. So 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I don't think there was ever a 65, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, 70, 75, and then 85. And each of these has a different size. So a lot of different models over the years. And uh, they will now focus on two different models, which is the Challenger and the Global Series, which are midsize and in large size cabins that are designed for uh, long range business jets. But um, again, kind of a sad thing. Let me know if you've ever flown in one, flown one maybe, possibly, and, uh, and then how you feel about this uh, coming to an end. So I know I'm, I know I'm sad because this is definitely a, a, a name that you hear in the industry all the time. The next topic I want to talk about is a good one. And this is if you're into weather phenomenon, uh, if you hate the weather chapter, if you're in our course and you hate the weather chapter, this is probably not for you, but I think it's really cool. Uh, so I kind of geeked out doing some research uh, about this, but uh, can airplanes actually make it snow? And the answer is yes. And this is a very specific name. It's called airplane effect snow. And uh, airplane effect snow happened in uh, Dallas this week. If you've been following, I'm sure, unless you live under a rock, uh, you know exactly what's going on right now in Texas. And if you're watching this video late, uh, after it's been published, Dallas and all of Texas has been hit with a cold wave. And, um, and before that happened, before the, the very cold section happened, uh, there was uh, some cold weather that came through Dallas. And the approach end of the uh, DFW airport had a, a contrail or a trail of snow. And you can see the picture here from the, uh, from the radar. And this is actually what's called airplane effect snow. And so what happens in this case is that the, the water vapor that comes out of these engines turns into ice crystals. And that's just kind of what happens during a, a, a normal, normal operation, if you want. And what happens is that if there is a temperature inversion layer, for those of you that are not pilots, or maybe you haven't gotten to that point in your training, temperature inversion layer is when the temperature actually uh, increases as the altitude increases. Typically, the temperature drops as we start climbing. In this case, the, the temperature actually increases. When that happens, those ice crystals, when they hit that warmer layer of air, they turn into what's called super, super cold water droplets. And these super cold water droplets, well, they're more like water, right? So when they hit the warm part, they turn into water, and then when they start to descend again, then they hit the cold part again, and that turns into snow. Very rare, especially that low, that far south, uh, for it to happen. It happens typically more like the Chicago area, the, the northern part of the country. And so um, not a whole lot of accumulation in this case, just a really cool phenomenon in a way. Uh, in this case, what happened in Dallas is the temperature was at 24 degrees Fahrenheit on the ground, so uh, way below freezing, and then it was 42 degrees at 6,000 feet elevation. So big temperature inversion layer in this case created this, uh, this type of uh, snow. So I thought you guys would uh, appreciate this. Actually, I hope you learned something because I did. I, I had never heard about this before. And uh, this was a cool thing to research. 
Okay, the next thing is a good news. Uh, it looks like pilot hiring is coming back up, at least at Spirit. So Spirit said that they were gonna start to resume pilot and flight attendant hiring, and uh, they're expecting all the travel to go back to normal in 2021. They're actually expecting this to happen in the summer of 2021. So they're starting to ramp up now so they can be ready. So they're looking for flight instructor and flight attendant recruiters, and, um, and hopefully we can start to see classes getting enrolled again and people getting trained. And then it looks like they're gonna mix people that are currently on furlough and then the new uh, students and the new hires uh, together to get them to work back again uh, this summer. So fingers crossed, hopefully we can see an uptick in passenger travel and, um, and then get back to normal. So uh, if you're looking for a job, let me know. I don't have a job for you, unfortunately, but if you're looking, at it, I kind of want to get a feel of uh, what you guys are doing. If you're in the middle of training, if you've been furloughed, just let me know in the comments and uh, kind of want to get in touch with you guys. So that's all I have for this week. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff that you guys do. And uh, if you like drones, we also have a drone news update that we do every week. Uh, we've been doing for uh, 90 weeks now. This was week 91 that we recorded uh, this week. Uh, this week I talk about the new DJI FPV drone in there. I talk about drones that carry meth. Yeah, that's right, meth. Uh, that's the uh, Heisenberg drone, for those of you that get this joke, and then a bunch of other cool things. So uh, make sure you go to the other channel. We have a, a drone, it's called Pilot Institute channel. This is the uh, Pilot Institute airplane channel. And um, that's it. I'll see you guys there. And in the meantime, I'll see you on Friday and uh, fly safe.